hi guys welcome back to Charmin's kitchen happy sunday hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far i will be sharing a recipe today for chow mein with a twist so if you want to see how i'm doing this come on down and let's get started the week leading up to easter we like to stay away from meat and we will cook mostly vegetarian dishes or some fish dishes or even days when we fast so come on down and let's get started with this delicious vegetable chow mein with a twist for our vegetable chow mein today i'm gonna be using a different brand i didn't use before and this is the norman sue brand of chow mein it is a vegetarian noodle 100 percent vegetarian and i'm gonna add some soya chunks to this those who remember they used to have them in um the white and the darker brown ones and they're also the um the mince chunks so today i'm gonna be using the chunks as a substitute for meat and this is um a 100 vegetarian as well and these are some of the vegetables i'm adding to our chow mein a lot of colors flavors and nutrients i'm gonna show as i go along all the different ingredients i'm adding to the chow mein today so it is that season again of fasting and um, a lot of vegetarian meals are prepared during this time so today mine is going to be a vegetable chow mein because my kids enjoy a real good chow mein whether it's vegetarian or non-vegetarian the soya chunks have a texture like a crouton or a it's a cereal texture and before you cook it you have to soak it with some hot water i have two cups here and i'm gonna add some hot water so we can soften it and we can add some moisture to it before we start preparing and adding seasoning to the chunks i just added my hot water i'm gonna let it sit in here until they start plump up and become very soft before I start working with it. So let's check on our chunks and it has plumped up nicely. I'm gonna continue with preparing my ingredients and here I'm gonna be adding some fresh cilantro, some green onions, I'm gonna be using um, green chili today and I have to add my onion. We're gonna start putting everything together for this delicious vegetable chow mein. I have all my vegetables, herbs, and spices laid out. Also some of the sauces that I'm using. Everything look very nice and colorful. I have here my Chinese spice. I have some grated ginger, grated garlic, some chow mein seasoning, some salt. I'm going to be using some chief Chinese sauce, black pepper, sesame seed oil, some bok choy, and I have my red onions, green chili, cilantro, and green onions chopped up. So when I say vegetable chow mein, I really mean vegetable chow mein because I'm adding a good portion of vegetable along with the vegetable soya chunks. So we're gonna have a really nice mixture and a delicious chow mein without any meat. And you can still enjoy it with a lot of vegetables. So let's get started. So I just added the chunks to the pan with a little bit of oil and you can see it's looking like a chicken breast. I'm just going to let some of the water evaporate and then we're going to start flavoring this up because they have right now a plain taste like if you're biting into some um, bread. 
something without flavor so we're gonna start adding our garlic the grated garlic is going in and we're gonna mix that in I like how the garlic smells as soon as I add it I'm gonna add my ginger my freshly grated ginger and we want to add some color to that I'm gonna go in with my Chinese sauce and I will leave all the measurements in the description below Just changing the color a little. I'm going with a little bit more. And you're gonna flavor this up just like when you're flavoring up any meat that you're adding to your chow mein. So I can see that the Chinese sauce already changed the color. I'm gonna add some black pepper to this. A nice portion of black pepper. I'm gonna mix that in and I'm gonna leave it to cook for a bit before I start adding my veggies so now I'm gonna start adding some of the vegetables and I'm gonna go in with my carrots because that's the hardest vegetable I have here to cook I'm gonna go in with my red onions. And we're gonna mix. And I love to see colors in my food. It makes me happy. And it makes anyone want to eat when they see beautiful colors in the food. I'm gonna go in now with my bok choy. And I just leave them out like that because once they cook a little, all the bottom part is gonna wilt up and become nothing at all just the top will remain in the dish so we're gonna let this cook for a bit and then we'll come back and check it out so now i'm gonna go in with the rest of my veggies i switched the pan to a bigger pot because i like the wideness from this pot so I can mix my veggies properly and now I'm gonna go in with since I add the veggies I'm gonna go in with my salt I'm gonna go in with my green chili pepper I'm gonna go in with some chow mein seasoning We're gonna mix all that goodness. It is looking beautiful in the eyes at the moment. And I wanna add a little bit of sesame seed oil. And this is gonna add that nice nutty 
flavor to the chow mein. We're gonna add our Chinese spice. So I'm building flavor all along. We're gonna mix a little, and at this point you wanna put your stove on medium heat so you're not overcooking any of the veggies. Because I still like my veggies to have a little bit of texture in the chow mein and we're not cooking out all of the nutrients so this is looking amazing so the next thing we're gonna add is some cilantro and i'm going in with a good portion here and i find that the cilantro add that nice limey um flavor to the to any dish this is one of my favorite herbs to cook with it smells i wish if you guys can smell through the phone but it smells amazing we're just steaming the vegetable pretty much and i like to prepare the vegetable before i prepare my chow mein i have the water boiling on the other side so as soon as the vegetable is done i'm gonna put my chow mein to cook and then I will add it into the big pot of veggies. I just added the chow mein to the boiling water and a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna let this cook until it is nice and soft but not too mushy before I drain it and add it to my vegetable. So my vegetable is done very nice and steam cook in the chunks i just turned the stove off and now i'm waiting for my chow mein to finish so i can add it in here and mix up all this goodness into our chow mein noodle let me know in the comments if you ever had vegetable chow mein with soya chunks before most of the time when people are fasting and staying away from meat they use chunks as a meat substitute. So today I am sharing this recipe for chow mein and chunks. And there's many different ways that you can prepare this. Please leave in the comments and let me know if you ever had chunks. What is your favorite way of having chunks? So I just strained my chow mein noodles and added to the vegetable. Because I seasoned my vegetable well, I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper on top of the chow mein noodles. And this noodle is one that I'm cooking for the very first time. And I really love the color of the noodle. They have a nice vibrant yellow color. And it looks like a good noodle, but I have to taste it how it tastes after I finish. And let you guys know how the Norman Sioux chow mein noodle tastes. So this is looking beautiful. It is very, very hot. And at the end of this, I like to go in with my chopped up green onions to add that nice fresh green onion taste at the end. And then we're gonna give it another toss. And I'm gonna plate up and let you guys know how this juicy chow mein noodle tastes. It's looking very good. How it looks here to you. Awesome. Yeah. Nice and juicy. Delicious. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna start plating up i show you how delicious and juicy looking this chow mein, vegetable chow mein with the chunks look. It is one that you wouldn't miss meat, any meat with because the chunks have a texture of chicken and it looks like if I have some chicken breast finely chopped up in here. 
Look how beautiful this noodle is. So I have enough for all my YouTube brothers and sisters. There is no limit here. So all are invited for dinner tonight. And let's celebrate dinner this Palm Sunday. All those who are celebrating, I wish you a happy Palm Sunday. And you guys noticed that I just hit my 11K subscribers. So I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers for your continued love and support towards my channel. And for all the new subscribers, thank you so, so much for helping me to hit another K. Without you guys, I can't do it by myself. So let's get on with tasting this delicious looking chow mein. Big shout out to one of my subscriber, Pamela, who I met in Walmart today. Pamela, thank you so much for coming and say hi. So here is that beautiful vegetable chow mein dinner with some soya chunks. And I added some sliced tomato and I had some pickle beets and a piece of cucumber. So this plate is not short of anything but I like to eat mine with some hot pepper sauce, even though I added some chili pepper in there, because this is gonna make it way much delicious for me. So I'm gonna give this a good mix. Right here I have a, a nice little chunk of pepper. I'm gonna go in with a piece of the soy chunks and let you guys know how this tastes. And this is the first time I'm trying the Norman Sioux Chow Mein. I am drooling, guys. I don't know about you guys, but this is your mouthful. So cheers. Mmm. Really nice. This Chow Mein is one that really suck up all that goodness from the seasoning it's a really good noodle actually and i love the color of it and the chunks i just want you to know once you flavor up your chunks nicely it's gonna taste like a meaty kind of texture and flavor but if you don't know what it is you'll think it's chicken you're eating so this is very delicious all the spices and ingredients are coming through my kids are going to be so happy because they love chow mein so i'm going to take another bite because this is too good to have one bite mm. that pepper sauce really spike it up a little i'm in my happy zone right now so once again if you guys like this recipe please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing soon. I want to say a big, huge thank you to all my viewers and subscribers for your love and support. We hit the 11K subscriber today and that's because of you guys, not only me. So big hugs to each and every one of you. And I just want to say have a blessed rest of the Sunday night and I wish everyone a blessed week ahead. So stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.